guys, so I got some books recently and I thought it was about time to do a book haul. It's been a while since the last one. I think the last one was in December and it's already May. Here's my second book haul. The first thing I got is the Secret Garden Coloring Book by Johanna Basford and I really like this. I've wanted to try a coloring book for a while now. I looked at it a few times. I've looked at it a few different ones and I finally settled on this one and I am loving it. I've already done two pages and I'll show them to you really quickly. So this is the first page that I did and I really like the colors. I did this with color pencil which is a little different. I looked on the website and Johanna Basford said that if you want a softer approach use color pencil and so I did that for the first one because I didn't have any like markers just yet and then I went out and I got the Stadford like um huge set of 36 pens which is like the, it comes in the set, it's called like the coloring set, and then I colored this, which I really really like as well, and I'm just having a lot of fun with this. I haven't colored anymore since, but from what I've already done, I really really enjoy it. It's really soothing, and it's really nice to just kind of sit down with a bunch of colored pencils or colored pens and just fill it in and make it as colorful as I want, and to just make things any color that I want. It's been a long time since I've colored anything, so doing this kind of made me feel like I was in kindergarten all over again. And then I got this beautiful box set of the, I guess it's called the Daughter's Milk and Bone series by Lainey Taylor. And oh my goodness, the box set is beautiful. Unfortunately, this side is a little ripped. I guess it got ripped during shipping, but the books are beautiful. They're tall. I didn't realize they were the tall hardcovers, which I'm not complaining about, but these are tall and oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. So here we have Daughter's Milk and Bone, the first book, and it's so pretty. The cover is super nice, like it has a really nice texture. It's not like the super glossy covers that a lot of her covers are, and it's not super matte either. It's just like, it's really nice texture. I don't know how to describe it. It's just really, really nice. These covers are beautiful. These spines are gorgeous too. And then we have Days of Blood and Starlight, the second book, and this is also so beautiful. I'm actually not that mad about the fact that there's like the girl on the cover thing because I think it's done really well. There's also this huge text and I'm actually more drawn to the text than I am to the face. But oh my goodness, these covers are just like, they're so, so pretty. They're even prettier in person than they are like on camera, which is, I didn't even think was possible. And then we have Dreams of Gods and Monsters. And like I said before, like I'd always known these covers were beautiful, but I had no idea how beautiful exactly until I saw them in person because like, you really just can't beat that. There's something about how these look in person that is so different from how they look on screen for some reason and I just absolutely love these covers and I'm so excited to pick these up. And a while ago I entered in a giveaway over on Cassidy Von Shea's blog and I didn't think I would win but I did and Cassidy was lovely enough to send me two books. Thank you so much Cassidy for these. I absolutely love them. And they are A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows by B.E. Schwab. And this is the UK paperback edition. And I actually quite like these. I like the US editions as well. But these are still really, really beautiful. I have heard nothing but great things about B.E. Schwab and her writing. Never read any of her stuff before. But I know that a lot of people, especially Jesse from Jesse the Reader, loves B.E. Schwab. And I am decently into fantasy so I thought I would really like these. These are not YA. Anything written under V.E. Schwab is adult fiction. I don't know. I've never read adult fantasy besides Lord of the Rings and I'm not even sure. That's high fantasy so I guess it qualifies but I've never read anything like adult fantasy aside from that so I'm really excited to dive into this. I've heard absolutely amazing things about her writing and her series so can't wait to start these. And because of that, I also decided to get Vicious by V.E. Shaw, which is her first, it, I believe this is her debut adult novel, and it's also a fantasy. This is, all I know is that this is about superheroes. Oh, I guess I didn't tell you guys what the other books were about. Okay, give me a minute. This is about something about angels and feathers, and I'm assuming they're gods and monsters. I don't actually know. There's something about teeth. I know that. I don't actually know what this series is about. But I know that it's Katie Tastic's favorite series of all time, or one of her favorite series of all time. And I've been meaning to read this, so I'm sorry I don't actually know what this is about. But I want to keep it that way, so if you know what this is about, please don't tell me. And with these two, there are alternate universes. There are alternate Londons. There's red... I don't actually remember what the colors were. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> See, in the first book haul, I never mentioned the author's names. And then now I don't know the synopsis for all of these books. And I feel like I'm such a terrible bookkeeper. I'm sorry. I, I just... I don't like knowing the synopses of books. I like knowing vaguely what it's about, but I don't like knowing the synopses because I like going to books pretty blindly. And although that doesn't always work out, usually I quite enjoy doing that. So, like, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is about. I just... 
that's how I like to keep my books. I do know that Vicious is about two best friends who did some kind of experiment and ended up with superpowers, and this is an anti-hero kind of book. Like, neither of them are heroes, neither of them are exactly villains. There's something about a vendetta or revenge and the two of them fighting each other, and that's kind of all I really know. This is really what kickstarted the whole V.E. Schwab thing. Um, Reagan from Peru's Project and Jesse from Jesse the Reader both read this and they absolutely loved it and that's kind of, I believe, what kickstarted the entire booktube community into reading V.E. Schwab. And then we have Shopaholic to the Stars and Shopaholic to the Rescue by Sophie Kinsella. These are books 7 and 8, I believe, in the Shopaholic series. This series has been going on for so long. I'm not sure there's going to be a ninth book. I keep thinking the series is over, but then it's not. Like, I thought it was over with Shopaholic, uh, Mini Shopaholic, and then this book came out. And then I thought it was over with this, and then this book came out, so I'm really not sure like how many books. There are eight books in the series already. I mean, I love the series, but, you know, eight books, that, like, that's a lot. If you don't know what the Shopaholic book's about, it's basically about this girl named Becky Bloomwood, and she's a Shopaholic, she's a British Shopaholic, and it's really funny. This is classified as chiclet. And I was actually having a conversation with my guy friend about this, because I sent him photos of the book, and he's like, oh, Sophie can sell a chiclet, blah blah blah. I'm like, well, oh, okay, no, he wasn't that kind of sending. He was actually just curious that I read Sophie Kinsella because he always thought of her as like a chiclet author. That's the thing, I don't consider this chiclet. I'm not exactly sure what chiclet is. Like, okay, yeah, guys don't read this, but these are funny. Like, Sophie Kinsella writes funny books, except for, I guess, Finding Audrey. But the rest of her books, like, these are pretty funny, and I just enjoy them. I like Becky Bloomwood because she doesn't take herself very seriously, and her life is really funny. But yeah, so if you guys like comedy stuff, I would recommend this because it's really fun. It's really fast to get through, and it's just like, and something light and fluffy. And then one of the books that I am most excited about because if you saw my most anticipated books of 2016 video like back in January or something, you would kind of recognize this. Originally it was titled Heavens but it had a title change and it's now The Extraordinary Journey of Vivian Marshall. I got an art from the author. Okay, I'm really tempted to scream and squeal but my dad's in the room next door and it's like late at night so I'm not gonna do that. But I got an arc! This is my first ever arc and Shannon herself contacted me because I I'd read Method 1533 last year and I reviewed it and I really enjoyed it so we got in contact and as she was coming out with this I was just like tweeting her I'm like oh I'm really excited I'm really looking forward to it it's one of my most anticipated books and this arrived and it's beautiful look at it it's really really pretty like just look at this and not only is this my first ever arc and this is super exciting it's also signed it's my first ever signed book and I'm so so excited and oh my goodness this is like this is so exciting this comes out in September and from what I know it's about a woman who makes a decision she's kind of in limbo she was in an accident is in a coma and is now like having an out-of-body experience where she has to decide whether or not she wants to go back to her body or if she wants to move on to like I guess whatever heaven is or like paradise is for her which is an interesting concept I, it sounds pretty similar to the five people when you meet in heaven by mitch album which i read i borrowed my friend's copy and i read that so i get to read this like i said it comes out in september i think it comes out i don't know exactly when, but i'm so excited now i would hold them all up but i already had to do that three times for the thumbnail and that was ridiculously hard three different takes for that shot was so difficult. Wait, I have two more books. Hold on. I forgot these because they were in my room because my sister's reading them. I have The Kiss of Deception and The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the series that everyone's been raving about where the princess decides she doesn't want to get married so she runs away and then a prince and an assassin send after her and she has to figure out who's who and we don't know either and we have to figure it out. This is that series and look at these covers! They're so so pretty i love these covers look at the spines too like look at how beautiful that is i'm super excited to read this i've heard nothing but great things about this i'm really interested in seeing if i can figure out who's the prince and who's the assassin before she does before the reveal because i'm usually pretty good at stuff like that at least i like to think i am so that is the end of the book haul this is probably really long i feel like i talked way too much in this video i don't know why but yes thank you for watching this very long very rambling, probably incomprehensible video. I hope you enjoyed it and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye!